sports office on location once again. Why? Because our office is being changed, remodeled. And joining us this week, Lobos head basketball coach Steve Alford. Coach, you got a lot going on, man. It's a busy time. You know, we got, uh, we're trying to finish up, obviously, the recruiting and the academic year. Our, our current team has about three weeks left of, of their school. So finishing that up, getting ready for camps that amp up in June. And then the recruiting period becomes open again in July. So there's a lot going on. Camps and recruiting. Let's start with uh, camps. You know, as far as is it filling up real quick now? Because I mean, New Mexico is now a, a household name. <laughs> well, it's doing it's doing well, and we got to get through one more year. It was a lot of fun last year when we went outside. We had the Rudy Davalos Center, and we went outside, yeah. so we kind of did the old school camp, and we'll do that again this year, which was a lot of fun. And then next year, uh, we're obviously going to be able to use uh, the brand new pit for camp too. But we're working on getting uh, camp tours set up for the pit, and a lot of neat things, and. Obviously, it's a, a way of us giving back to the community because I think it's a lot of fun because the, the youth throughout this state have a chance to interact with our staff and our players and uh, get to learn a little bit about basketball. You know what we get the most people calling, oh, man, I'm excited about football basketball. I'm excited. The future, the future, the future. And they see all these new guys coming in. And, and it used to be where maybe you get one guy of that caliber. But all your guys are like that. Yeah, we've, we've been very fortunate, man. Uh, we, we've had a lot of good kids. Uh, the last three years, we've had a chance to coach a lot of good players, a lot of good people. And this recruiting class is very good. It's maybe our biggest class as far as numbers. So uh, we're excited about them joining us here in the summer. When you think about that class, what, what do you see as far as uh, them jumping in right away and being immediate? Uh, shot in the arm because well, you've got a good nucleus coming. Yeah, we've got a very good nucleus coming back. So obviously the nucleus has got to continue to get better. I think as they get better, that's going to help these young guys. I think this year the new guys were enhanced because of what the nucleus became over the summer. And we've told our current guys that's got to take place as well. We've, we're bringing in size. We're bringing in athleticism. We've got good guards coming in, good bigs coming in. But the, the nucleus has got to continue to stay strong and keep getting better. And uh, as far as, you know, like throwing out a couple of names, uh, Kendall Williams and, uh, and uh, Alex Kirk, two guys that are coming in and two guys that hit the books hard, man. These guys are like the grade point averages are great. I mean, you, you're keeping your word. Yeah, it's been, you know, our, our academic situation has just continued to improve and get better. And that's obviously been uh, one of our top priorities in, in graduating our guys. And we only had one senior this year in row, and uh, he's not only graduating, he's graduating with honors and uh, academic All-American. And, and the new guys coming in are, are serious, not just about basketball, but more importantly, what they're going to do as people in the classroom. You know, during this time, you got your, your other stuff going on that you do off season, and then one of the things is making a schedule also. And, and when you look at that, are you guys trying to reach out and grab some more of those big schools, and are they still running from the pit? Or well, yeah, they're still running from the pit. You know, we've got five of them on schedule already. Uh, away from the pit and then uh, a couple more that are going to be in Vegas in the Vegas tournament. So our non-conference schedule is extremely difficult. Might be more difficult this year than in the last year when we were 14-1 we and, and got on a good roll. That was a lot of fun. This year, an awful lot of road games. Five road games against quality opponents, then two at neutral sites against probably BCS opponents. Uh, so we've got about three games still left to schedule here at home and that's an ongoing process because getting people to come here is the challenge. And in, in, in out of those road games, some of the names, in case Lobo fans want to know. Well, Southern head. Illinois is the Missouri Valley uh, yeah. opponent, so we've got to go to Carbondale. So an old opponent of mine when I was in the Missouri Valley. The annual at New Mexico State game. We're at Texas Tech this year. We're at Dayton New Year's Day, so we return the trip to Dayton, and we got to return the trip to California. So, uh, you know, those are five really quality uh, opponents. And then in Vegas, we're going to see two of those games are going to be against uh, Northern Iowa, Indiana, or Colorado. We don't know how that's going to shake up yet. If you end up facing your alma mater, Indiana, would, would that be odd for you? Or? Yeah, it's always odd. I think it was more odd when Coach Knight was there, um, you know, because that's who I played for. So, that, you know, it's been more odd for me playing yeah. Texas Tech because of the, the bloodline there with Coach Knight than it has been, you know, playing against Indiana. But obviously if that would come to – if that would come to happen, uh, that'd be obviously a great game for us, an exciting game for us, and bring back a lot of good memories for me. Any teams you can talk about that you're hoping to fill with the rest of the? No, not really. We, we've we've contacted over 200 teams here in the last month, so it's just a matter of uh, trying to get the right fits and get the right fit in our schedule and fit to their schedule, and hopefully, hopefully we'll get that done. Uh, scheduling has been. Uh, 
probably the biggest stress I've had over the last month just trying to get that done. Are you finding that more teams are running away now? <laughs> I mean, because well, I mean, it's not like you guys were. Yeah, I think, you know, there's still a lot of excitement, Van, over getting have an opportunity to play in a place like the pit, and that's what we sell. And, you know, and then I'm trying to sell. We got a lot of new guys. You know, we got five freshmen, and, you know, so we're going to be a lot younger this year than we were a year ago. Same synopsis. We got one senior on the roster. So, uh, you know, trying to sell that and downplay us as much as possible. But, you know, the, after 43 years, man, of playing in a pit and you win 82% of the games, uh, that word's out. It's long been out about the pit, but it is a very exciting environment, and hopefully we can uh, lure some of those guys to come in here. Wow, that plane noise was loud. Yeah. Hey, now, now, talking about the pit, I mean, the renovations are going on, and, and uh, you know, you guys had the selection show in there, and, and uh, how much is all that helping with bringing the guys here and wanting guys seeing it? And, well, I think, you know, what we were able to do this year was get some national exposure and national attention to where now I think people uh, east of the Mississippi have an idea of what New Mexico is, who we are. We're not a foreign country. Uh, we are a, a basketball crazy state that uh, is doing a lot of positive things. And so I think that word's gotten out nationally, and that only helps and bodes well in the area of recruiting. All right. And uh, one more thing. You, you stay busy, and I guess you got an event coming up, which right. is a, a good cause. Yeah, it is. Um, May 8th is our Coaches versus Cancer Gala. It's our, our basketball gala event that we have out at Tamiya, uh, which is a tremendous resort and spa. And We had a lot of fun last year with it. This year we're bringing in a, a good buddy of mine from uh, Des Moines, Iowa, now Sioux Falls, South Dakota. But uh, uh, he's an entertainer. He's a magician, and I think that will just add to wow. what we've done in years past. Last year we raised nearly $100,000, and this year the goal is even higher. We'd like to raise $150,000. This is an organization, Coaches vs. Cancer has been around, Van, since the late 90s, and we've raised over $40 million for research that, you know, if it hadn't hit you, if cancer hadn't hit your family, it's hit people close to you. It's yeah. been a disease that we're gaining on. We're starting to get a lot of research, and, and anything that we can do in this community uh, to help awareness and help raise funds. Uh, I think that's a positive. So we're excited about that night, May 8th, that time of time young. When people get to see you play golf? <laughs> no, no, I won't be golfing. My golf game stinks right now. So uh, i got to think maybe about a different sport, the way things are going. All right, couldn't resist. Thanks, Coach Steve Ball, for joining us. Thanks, in the sports office, we're out.